Um, kia ora. Uh, I'm very humbled to be standing in front of you as uh, someone who's only lived in this brilliant city for two and a half years. And uh, to follow Aaron, who obviously I think has spoken to us uh, very much into our souls. A couple of things that I wanted to share with you. I suppose I've spent my entire career helping young men grow. And in trying to do so, that's been in cooperation with their families. Uh, and the imperfection of family, the imperfection of that child, the imperfection of those relationships that exist is the challenge for all of us, that we celebrate both that which is we aspire to be, and that is as good as we can be, along with the frailties and the weaknesses that each of us carry because we're human. I want to share one pivotal story for me from my experience uh, as a person working in Australia and having the opportunity uh, to interview incredible people for the heads of independent schools of Australia. I interviewed a young West Australian of the year and young Australian of the year, Akram Azimi. Akram had come as a refugee from Afghanistan, could not speak English. He arrived into a country and into an environment which treated him very badly for a significant period of time. He was mentored by one of his teachers at a high school on the outsides of, on the edges of Perth who saw in him something uniquely special and said to him, Akram, I believe in you. I know that you can step beyond the circumstances that you, in, you are in to be extraordinary. He took that advice. He challenged himself to learn English. He challenged himself, himself to find a way to university. He challenged himself to reach out to others in Australia who were much less fortunate than himself. And he found himself in isolated indigenous communities in the far northwest of Western Australia. And it was there where he found the spirit within all of us. And I found that out because I asked him a simple question when I interviewed him for the magazine. I said, if you were speaking to the heads of independent schools across Australia, indeed anybody who runs a school in Australia, what would you tell them that they need to teach young people? And he said, well, you've got to teach them about philanthropy. Now, I was pretty shocked. Don't know how you felt when I said the word philanthropy then. But he said, teach them about philanthropy time, treasure and talent. The idea that because if you believe that you have something to give to somebody else, then you will be richly rewarded as an individual and you will feel as though the community of which you are a part is enriched. So time, treasure and talent. The idea of, a, of, a, of an understanding of philanthropy for each and every one of us. I don't actually think it's gender specific, but I do think it's very, very important for men. Because if we give of our time and we give of our talent, we actually start to communicate with our emotional need. Our emotional need to be able to give and from that giving to receive much more. When we think about what young people need, what they need is emotional confidence the confidence to be who they are no matter what circumstance that they're in. And for young men, they learn that from older men who have actually developed in themselves the language of emotion. And for us, for us the older people in the room, we need to practice the language of emotion.